everybody, it's Chris and I'm back to do another painting with you. Um, today we are going to do a, um, a dip flower. I don't know if any of you watch Fiona, but she does some very beautiful flowers and I watched another video and I was like, gosh, you know what? I want to try this again. So I've done some in the past. I would say that they don't always turn out the way that I anticipate them to turn out. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. Um, I'm working on an 8x8 canvas. I already have my white paint down, and I will tell you that my white is quite thick. So I would say it's kind of the consistency of pudding. Um, and I've tried this already, and it did not turn out very well, and I'm hoping that it's because my white was just way too thick. Or, I mean, way too thin, excuse me. So I've got my white base down on my 8x8 canvas. The colors I'm using, um, this is a custom burgundy that I have made up. I'm also using some champagne gold as well as raw umber. And I really love reds and browns together. I think they're very pretty. So we're gonna give this a go and see what we get. So I'm gonna start by putting out a ring of the burgundy. And then we're gonna start making our spiral inside of that. And I wanna make sure that I have enough room so that I can put several layers of the color inside here. Next, I'm going to do some of my brown. And then the gold. I think I want to add a little bit of gold out here. Just kind of break up my color a little. And then I kind of feel like we need another red. So I'm just gonna kind of layer a little bit in between some of these lines just to get a little bit more dimension to it. Okay, that should be pretty darn good. Let's put just a tiny bit of brown right here. All right, I'm going to use Saran Wrap to do this flower. So let me see if I can get this on here without making a mess here. Let's see if I can float it over the top like that. Pretty close. I don't think I necessarily want these wrinkles here, but we're gonna go with it. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and gently press down to make sure that my paint is making contact with the plastic. And like I said, I probably do not want those air bubbles, but I probably should have been a little bit more careful when I put that down. So it looks like we're contacting everywhere. And my thought too with um, using a white base was I'm hoping to kind of get some pinks and lighter browns out of this too. So I'm hoping that the white kind of helps to create some extra dimension in here, if you will. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the corners. And let's hope there's a flower under here. Looks like my paint or my plastic is stuck to the sides here. So let me just kind of let this, get this loose a little bit. There we go. There we go. And then I'm gonna lift up this corner. In this corner. And just kind of gather this up. And there we go. Well, I have to say that looks much better than some of them that I've done. So I can see that I've got a lot of bubbles here. And I think um, definitely have the flower shape in the center. That's looking really pretty. So let me wipe my hands off here real quick. And I've got some really cool 
kind of cells popping up here too. All right, we're gonna torch this and let's see what else we can get coaxed out of this little guy. Just wanna pop all of those air bubbles in the paint. I even have bubbles over here in the white too, probably from the plastic wrap. All right. Well, I'm wondering if I could take my palette knife maybe and kind of pull this down in just a tiny bit because I feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of paint right here. And it's a lot of white. That looks really cool though. Let me pick this up and see if I can get you a little bit closer view so you can see some of the cells and how pretty that middle looks. So I think that some of that um, outside color will possibly pop up through the white too as it dries, but there's really some pretty cell reactions for sure. And this gold is a paint that really is not all that beautiful when it's wet. I mean, it's kind of a crazy, like to me, it doesn't look very pretty at all right now. It just kind of looks like it's tan, but it really is a beautiful metallic shimmer. So I will let this dry and then I will put, um, I'll wait just a bit and I will put the dried picture at the end of the video so you can see what the difference is. I think we still have a few more things popping up. So hopefully um, it will continue to change here as it sits and I think it's like quite pretty though. I really, I really love the colors of it. I think it's really pretty. All right, guys. So that is a completed dip. Um, we use Saran Wrap to um, take the, to do the flower center. And hopefully this inspires you to make a flower yourself. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.